We're good taking the Reawaken America tour coming up here in Michigan. Uh, Bo Polney, uh, General Flynn, Cash Patel. It's the final one, June 7th and 8th. Uh, Bo, back to you. Right. So I just want to finish on this. I want people to understand the magnitude of how our God is involved because God is in all the details. That's where you see him. Okay. So I want to kind of just finish up on this couple of points. There's an eclipse coming up on the 8th of April. Now it's fascinating because if you understand that eclipse in 2017, it was on August 21st, it traversed over seven seven cities called Salem. This time it's going to traverse seven cities called Nineveh. It's going to make a cross formation on April 8th, 2024. Between the eclipse of 2017 and the eclipse of 2024, this is how you can see God. What I'm showing you is that eclipse between the two points is exactly to the exact day, six years, six months, six weeks, six days between the two eclipses. This is not by chance. This is by design. That's what I'm trying to tell you, the story of Daniel 2. It's a two and a half thousand year prophecy. God wrote the end from the beginning. So I want to finish on this. When you read, this is the sign of Jonah. The sign of Jonah is verse Jonah 3, verse 34, it says, in 40 days, God's going to bring judgment on the United, or on Nineveh. So if you apply that to the United States, 40 days from the sign of Jonah is specifically May 18th, 19th, okay? That's the weekend of Pentecost. Now, the other calculation, the second witness to this is if you study the timelines of the Red Sea miracle, this is all scriptural. If you study Exodus, it took 18 days. This is in the Bible. This is scriptural numbers. 18 days for, for when Israel departed Pharaoh, they left Egypt after Passover, 18 days to get to the Red Sea. They camped for eight days. It's a total of 25 days. On day 25, they crossed the Red Sea. God closed the sea on Pharaoh and his army and destroyed all the plans of Pharaoh. Fascinating enough, from Passover, the 22nd of April, 25 days based on scripture is the exact same day. It is the 18th of May into the 19th. And the fascinating part with the, with the second cherry on top is that is the day the Tower of Babel fell on Pentecost. So what I'm telling you is I don't care what evil's plans are because as Pastor Dave said, we serve a mighty God and the math is beyond incredible. You can read the scriptures all you want, but the math is the math is the math is the math. And what I showed you was one plus one is two. You cannot break the math. God speaks through his word. He speaks through his prophets, and he speaks through his math. Amen. Wow. I'll take a third, Cherry. The last calculation I can show you, look at the Mayflower calculation here. The May calculation, Mayflower 16, 20, 400 years would be the U.S. election. And you run a 3.5 year Daniel cycle. It will be for three time, times and a half a time. Three and a half years is May <laughs> God's bringing the third cherry. All right. Well, thank you both.